Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back. Hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day. I know, I know, the uh, thumbnail had a Fosh on it. A Fosh B, because it's been buffed. And it's an amazing tank. I'm going to feature that game second. We have to watch this game first, because this game is truly remarkable. This guy had a fantastic game. Fosh game second. So you can fast forward if you have the, uh, uh, you know, the, the focus uh, time of a gnat. You can, and, you know, that's too long. Can't watch our game before I watch the... We'll watch the Fosh game second. But this KPZ07 RH. Oh, he spotted. Better retreat. Oh, how was he spotted? He fired his gun. That's how he spotted. And there's a lot of people there that are ready. A Burask maybe spotted him. Uh, MT20. Yeah, they, they're, there's lots of targets. Lots of targets. And he shoots fast. This is not the exciting part. Just bear with me. We have to feature this. Oh, 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 oh. And he's just farming now. Like, he's, this is fantastic matchmaking, right? It's tier 8. Uh, and he's got tier 8, 7s, and 6s. What's his name? Uh, uh, market Man. He's a Market Man. From the K-Rec Clan. Get wrecked. From the K-Rec Clan. And this will be remarkable. And then we can watch the Fosh. And I won't start the commentary about the because I have a lot of things to say about the Fosh buff. Oops, Daddy, my teammate exploded. <laughs> it's always when your teammates just explode. <laughs> oh, you're spotted and you're in the middle of nowhere. He's in the middle, of, stuck in the middle of nowhere. And you're driving forward. You've lost half your HP and you're spotted. And you got some spot spotting assist. It's a very precarious position that you've chosen here, buddy. I don't know. There's a Budas. There's a Cromwell. They could have very good view range. You That's a very small bush. Hiding in small bush is dangerous. Confucius said, He who go inside small bush must watch what happens. Be careful. He who go in bigger bush gets bigger bang for buck. This is not a Japanese or Chinese tank. And he just decided to shoot. Why not? Just shoot. Shoot. Just shoot. I don't know why he did that, but he did it. I don't know why he's done it, but, he, but he's done it. I know he's done it. Not exciting yet, okay? Just we're, we're. you have to have the attention span, span, the attention span, longer than that of a gnat to appreciate what you're about to observe. Oh yes, boom! This tank is death by thousand cuts, and there's his teammate also in tank that is death by thousand cuts. Two death by thousand. Get out of the way! Death by thousand cuts coming. We all got it coming, kid. Reference? I reckon he had it coming. We all got it coming, kid. Boom. Take this shell. Take this shell and shove it. I don't shoot at you no more. You're gonna get spotted if you shoot there. I, I don't think he, he didn't get spotted. Did he back up enough? They're putting up a good defense here, good defense. They're losing 3-6. Things are unfolding like a bubbling stew that is gaining aroma. We are watching what is happening as the story unfolds before our very eyes. Right before our very eyes. I thought that I was just gonna shoot you. Oh boy, it's going from bad to worse. 3-7 is the score. It's just not looking good. And he doesn't know, does he push? Does he push, push from this bush? Does he follow his team? His teammate's saying, let's go. Magneto Man is saying, let's go. Magneto Man moves up. Magneto Man just drives. What, what are you doing, Magneto Man? Magneto Man exploded. And so he's going to do exactly what Magneto Man did. Because why not? And reload and boom. 
He bounced a shot. Oh, the SP. G. Saves his arse. Here comes another. Boom. Stunned. Again. Because he's stunned again. Okay. Um, he's got a super chaffy. And an E25. And two SPGs. Who are parked in the corner. So it's two TDs. And he's it's him and two TDs. One man and two TDs. What could go wrong? <clears throat> One man, two TDs, and two SPGs. And the E25 has been spooted. How did you get spooted? The E25 is just getting farmed. I guess the Budosk is a fairly good... Uh, and boom, he pumps one into the Budosk. And he's going to pump another one and miss the Budosk. But, oh, the super... Hellcat. Oh, not Super Chaffy. Did I say Chaffy? Super Hellcat. They're put, trying to eke their way into a comeback, but the, su the Super wasn't so super. Super Hellcat superly died. Rushed forward and died because he was one of his teammates that died. Died. And he blind. Blinded by the light. Pop, 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 pop. Two SPGs now. Do not go help your SPGs. They don't deserve it. They're parked. Let them eat cake. He's going to sit here and wait. And then... Oh! 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 A scorpion. It's one of those tier... What? It's a tier 7 scorpion? What kind of a scorpion is that? It's not a scorpion G. This is the scorpion. Okay, just take it easy now, buddy. You're a medium tank. As you move, you're decreasing your uh, uh, concealment. When you're playing a game, and it's near the end like this, and you're setting up an ambush, if you're a medium tank, <clears throat> it's very important not to move. I'm, I'm just pointing that out. To pick, pick your spot, uh, and if you do move, you have less concealment. And there's a Budosk who could have Commander's Vision System. Oh, two HE shells does the trick. Nicely done. Oh, and he gets shot by an Achilles. They're surrounded now. He's just shot again. Line yourself up with the SPG so they shoot the SPG instead. Because why not have an SPG instead? Ba -da -da, ba -da -ba -ba. Reference? And it is, uh, I, I know, it's a, it's a minor tech technicality. You're a medium tank, you have mobility, you can move around. But when you're waiting, when you're trying to let the enemies expose themselves, remain stationary. It's important. I've got He's doing well. Look, oh, the SPG got. And one of the SPGs just exploded. And what is that? A buzza? A, a burza. Is that a Polish TD? What's a burza? There's two burzas. Well, guys. That team has two burzas. We're, I'm just gonna... <clears throat> this is the moment we've been waiting for. Watch what's gonna happen here. There. Hold on, we're pausing it right here. Don't worry, Fosh game coming up. But it's him versus five. He is by himself versus five now. So it's probably not, not good enough to just stay stationary. He's gotta try and get into a good defensive position. But what I said makes sense. If, you're, if you know, if you're expecting them to come... And you're in an ambush position. Right? Uh, stay stationary. It decreases the chance of getting spooted. But if you want to reposition, then of course drive. When it's one versus five, they're going to come. They're going to head towards your base. And he's spooted. Because he's on the move and there's a Budosk somewhere. And no, not a Budosk. A Buza. Who's stationary. See? He got spooted by the stationary Burza. And now he's got two of them. And he's, now he's going to fight an SPG. Shoot him! Shoot him! Oh no, it's, a, it's an S. He bounced him! Oh, that's so lucky. He bounced a 390 alpha shell. Now he wants to drown himself. Screw this game, I'm drowning myself. Oh, and he's got to use his mobility now. This guy's going to come. You got to track him. You got to track him. Boom! How did he die? 
What happened? I didn't even catch what happened. I, that guy's got 431 uh, HP. He comes leaping off the cliff. He gets hit once. The ram. The guy did not fire his gun. And he took another shot. What was that SPG? He didn't even fire his gun. The, the complete utter moron, the SU-12244, who has two kills, didn't even press the trigger. He did not fire his gun. He just leapt, leapt at him and, and rammed him. Took some damage himself from ramming. Uh, he did, he, this guy took 89 damage and gave 60 damage. So the SU-12244 actually did more damage on the ram. But he didn't fire. <clears throat> and now, obviously, the enemy team wins this game because there's two SPGs and they know that they should be parked and there's about 1,346 bushes on this map that they could park in and remain undetected so that when he drives forward to try and win the game they'll see him and he only has 40 HP so all they need to do is stay parked when he approaches and they're invisible because they're using the bush mechanics parked in a bush <coughs> they'll they'll spoot him and they just fire one HE shell and kill him and uh, and they win the game so the SPGs uh, have like a 99% chance of winning this game Unless they're morons. <clears throat> Not in a bush. Behind a tree. <clears throat> and the, the SPG fired. <laughs> Talk about me. You're not... I'm going to give the GW Panther... Uh, the benefit of the doubt. He's not a moron. He fired. He hit him with HE. And he did He did zero. The shot was absorbed by the tracks. The GW gets a pass. Wargaming screwed him. He did the right thing. He wasn't exactly in a bush. But he was behind a tree. He was in cover. He did spoot the guy. He fired. And Wargaming said no. Now is that guy in a bush? <laughs> he aces the tank, wins Pool's medal and Kolobanov's medal, guys. 10 kills, 5,998 uh, damage. And I have no idea what this guy was even doing. He only fired his gun seven times that game. Captain Green Moron. Uh, death. Captain Green Death. What the... What, what's wrong with you? WN8-162. Okay, the Fosh B. We have made it to the Fosh B. Here we go. Now the Fosh B, if I if I'm not mistaken, was buffed. Correct? Am I right, or was it that other Fosh? Which Fosh was it that was buffed? I believe it was this one. Tell me if I'm wrong in the comment section. If it was, um, why was this one buffed and the Super Conquer nerfed? I don't know. I always thought that this one was a. Uh, uh, even before this patch, like th this, this one has always been a beast, in my opinion. This one has always been such a an amazing uh, beast if you know how to play it, and because of the lightning speed that it unleashes its uh, clip, and you know, the the time between shots, like you just boom. It, it's just a uh, oh, he's invisible. He la bone D. He's boned D. <laughs> you can get into. I understand that this thing is. Uh, whoa! <laughs> is not um, you know broken or anything like that. <clears throat> You're not going to carry every game you you play in this thing because it it has its um, what would you call them? Uh, its weaknesses, right? Let's see how he does here. Uh, he decides, oh, 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 why didn't you just shoot? It's an SMVCC67. 
Can he not pen the uh, turret of that thing? He doesn't want to trade with it. Or the superstructure of that thing? I think he can. Uh, what has he got loaded? Oh, he's got uh, uh, 257 uh, penetration, 400 damage, as opposed to the uh, 325. Maybe that was his concern. But yeah, it has its weaknesses, right? It is fast. It has good traverse speed, but it's kind of unwieldy because it's a big, huge rectangle. And the gun sticks out the front and only moves a little bit. So, you know, if you're flanked or you show your side, it's kind of wonky to get around a corner and point at the enemy. Like, watch, he's trying to look at, like, what does he do? He can't turn his turf. It's very kind of um, unconventional and wonky to play. But in the, in the right circumstances, if you get yourself into the right position, uh, it's a beast with the amount of shots it has and how quickly it reloads. Okay, I'm back. I just have to check something. I, I had a mental block. I thought I was confusing this with the, uh, uh, you know, the one you can get for bonds. That's the Fosh 155. Shoots three times. Yeah, this is the tech tree one. A me mental fart. But for the, am the amount it shoots, uh, if you surprise some people and you get in the right position, and you can even snipe with this thing because the gun handling is fantastic. Let's see how he does here. No, like, the, the enemies have no chance. When you catch someone out like this, it's a freaking beast. Like, that's what I'm talking about, right? Like, you, you have to position yourself in places where you can surprise them. <laughs> and at the beginning of the game, uh, you know, maybe you, you don't have magnificent armor, so snipe, stay safe. But as the, as the teams thin out, you can surprise someone, you can brawl with someone with this thing and just make their day really bad. Any tank, you can brawl with any, one on one, right? If you just both come around the corner and you see each other, now he's gonna take one up the ass, but he's gonna give it, right? He's gonna give it once and what are you doing? What, what? I don't know what he's He's gonna make this guy pay now, right? And now as long as he keeps his foot. Yeah, there you go. You can brawl. This is what I'm talking about. Way to go. He drove past that guy. Any tank in the game, if you come face to face, if this thing comes face to face with any tank in the game, you're gonna you're gonna make it hurt, right? Because you got uh, six shots, and he's really jiggling around. He's making a season. You got six shots times 400. Uh, even if you just if you come across some big heavy tank that's going to easily pen you you're going to get your six shots so you're going to hurt them even if you die after even if you screw up any tank that has less than the the amount of hp like let's see how he makes these guys pay like this is just it's going to be ridiculous right two three four five this is devastating and it's absolutely a beast in dishing out the damage if you get in the right position and that was the case before it was buffed it has nothing to do with um am i wrong is this one not the one that was buffed was it the the 155 i believe it was this one although i don't know what i'm talking about you guys let me know in the comment section if they buff this one i have no idea why So the, I guess the uh, uh, for this video, please correct me in the uh, in the comment section and let me know uh, what what the hell's going on because I can't believe oh that, that was a wasted shot but he's, it doesn't matter he's got so many of them a beast but what's funny uh, before patch 1.24-1 whether this was buffed or not <laughs> uh. I didn't see a lot of great results with this thing because it's wonky and it's hard for people to play but you would think with the amount of burst damage it has that if you you know if you get lucky or you get the right situation or you know the, the stars align this thing could have just and look at it, it's got a lot of ammunition if you're fighting against muppets or just things work out you just get a lot of targets in front of you this thing should have games of uh, 10, 12, 13, 14,000 damage. I just don't think it's a, a 
heavily played. I, I don't think it's something that's played a lot. But I'm, uh, I'm probably convincing you to, to grind it. Now, don't you know? Grinding is another story. It's like a that's an endeavor that could drive you nuts. And they're all the same, right? They're all one-trick ponies, like a, a rectangles with with a little gun that sticks out one end. But I, I just, uh, I guess I'm a little perplexed as to why it doesn't show up uh, in the top uh, damage games a lot. Maybe it's not played very much, and uh, why it would even be considered for a, a buff. AMX 50 Fosh B improved auto loader and dynamics. Our primary objective is to enhance. The AMX 50 Fosh B. Enhance its autoloader to make it more comfortable and dangerous for the opponents. We're focusing on the following improvements. Reducing aiming time. Decreasing dispersion after firing. Enhancing stabilization during movement and hull traverse. Okay. My question is, why the hell did it need that? I don't understand Wargaming. That's a, I, I confuse myself because I give them the benefit of the doubt. I, I, you know, in my mind, I'm thinking, no, they couldn't possibly do something that stupid. I think it nerf the super conquer so that it's no longer competitive and buff this thing. Do they just look at the statistics? I guess they look at the statistics. And uh, guys, uh, you know, we're we're not morons, right? Like we're not idiots. Wargaming. Uh, everyone had a super conquer. The super conquer. Everyone wanted a super conquer. Uh, in clan wars, the super conquer was super popular uh right it could hold its it was just a solid tank nerf it this thing was a beast even before uh the patch but not a lot of people had it because uh, you know, how many people went down the french td line not because it sucks just it wasn't popular for some reason because let's face it it's not versatile you're not going to take it out in clan wars it's just a you know, but it was but mark my words before this patch was a beast <laughs> just not popular so uh, nerf popular tank uh, buff non-popular tank maybe some you know go grind something else I, I, I don't know what the reason was right if, I guess if they look at the statistics they could say oh yeah the large portion of player base already has a super conquer and they're enjoying it therefore uh, because we're Russian uh, life is not about enjoyment. Life is about being miserable and struggling. <clears throat> uh, uh, th therefore, as a, as a good Russian person that wants to struggle his whole life, uh, that is the reason for existence. Let's make them struggle and, and nerf the super conquer and we'll buff this thing so uh, they'll have to get this one. And then when everyone gets this one, we'll nerf it. We'll say it, is, it has become too comfortable and we've made you comfortable with this and now that all of you have it we were going to make you uncomfortable by nerfing it it's just I, I don't understand them I try and understand but I don't understand makes no sense so and and maybe what I said before uh, when you looked at the statistics this one did not dominate in the uh, damage done categories uh, but not for reasons that were obvious because the burst damage is there and the uh, the gun handling was there and all the characteristics were pretty much the same and uh, if you caught if like I said if the stars aligned easily uh, 10,000 damage in this thing if the stars align like those games where everyone lines up in front of your gun it happens right uh, but you didn't see very many uh, in the, if you searched for top damage results you didn't see this one uh, mainly because not a lot of people played it so maybe they wanted to spread the, uh, you know, just uh, like the sheep, right? They're all over there eating the grass. There's not as much grass in that field. You know, the sheep go this way. <laughs> all the sheep go that way. That's what that's what we are all all the the player base is. It's just we're just being funneling the sheep into another direction, and all the player base. <laughs> oh, the fosh is good now. Oh, I'm grinding the fosh. Gotta get a fosh. We're gonna use fosh and cram clan wars now oh it's overpowered let's get everyone in europe to make videos about it about how great it is it's gonna break the game quick everyone get one <laughs> i like a, a good herd of sheep everyone's gonna try and get it now <laughs> so predictable no wonder politicians are all rich 
The world's getting hotter. Sea level's going to rise 300 feet. Uh, of course, I, all of us politicians have bought up all the oceanfront property. Al Gore sitting in his uh, beachfront uh, villa, smoking a cigar. Ah, the ocean's not going to rise for hundreds of years. <laughs> and I know, don't argue with me about science. Isostatic rebound. Look that up. That's a big factor that, uh, that could influence things. All right, here we go. A to sheep. Quick, everyone sell. Move to high ground. Who's going to buy my ocean front villa? Al Gore's in the market. <laughs> this is so pathetic. Oh, 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 his self parked gun has no chance. Oh, no, oh, the guy missed. Oh, my God, he missed. And snap him. The T 30. That was the game. How did that? Come on. This thing is the size of a... This is a huge shoebox. The T-30 tried to do it quickly because he knows he's an auto loader and was worried. That that was the game. T-30, that was the game. Oh, there he is. Why didn't you take a blind shot at the bush that went down? Why you not take blind shot at bush that fell? Confucius say, when bushes open, you must go in. Where's he going? He's the other way. Your other left. What is he doing? Well, now if you just blunder forward and he sees you, you're going to lose. He's doing a flanking maneuver. Okay, he's got speed. Let's see if it works. I would have taken a blind shot at that that falling tree you never know if you poke that ridge line too high to push that tree over you you would have won the game but now the t30's probably moved where has he gone he's retreated his history retreated but anyways let's see uh give him the benefit of the doubt with this strategy let's see if he can pull the victory off and he he forgot to shoot because why wouldn't you do why wouldn't you circumvent the whole map and once you arrive oh there he is where i thought he'd be and then forget to shoot that's a good strategy let me drive around the whole map i know he's gonna be there oh there he is what do i do oh i didn't ah i knew there was something else i needed to do why did you press the trigger But leave it in the comment section, guys. Do you think it was... Uh, wh what's up with that? Why did they buff this? And why did they nerf the other one? Does, does anyone have any idea why? The, why is he driving towards the front of this? You could have poked the bushes there, remained stealth, and shot him. Why wouldn't you do that? Now he knows you're here. You're proxy spotted. But the... It's your little light bulb's not going off because who knows why. Right? They're within proxy spotting of each other. So you can answer my question. I have no idea why this was buffed and the Super Conqueror was nerfed. I don't know. And, uh, buddy, uh, you know, you had a fantastic game because this thing is a beast and it was before this patch. Nine kills. And you had the game. You had the game. Uh,. What is it? One, two, there's three dudes. You're not a dude. You don't know the guy. Uh, you, you didn't shoot the tree that fell down. You had the side. Of, you didn't just snap, snap, snap. Just let her rip. You didn't, if you don't shoot, you're not going to hit him. And uh, that was a very... Um, you just kissed your sister. Uh, M5 ball. You, you just kissed... Like, uh, a draw is like kissing your sister. Disgusting. And uh, you deserve to lose credits. <laughs> Leave some comments, guys. Let me know. Uh, I have no idea what's going on. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. It makes no sense to me. I'll catch you guys on the next one.